Boy, do I have a honey of a plan with me today. So stick with me. Well, hi everyone, I'm Crystal from A Crystal Clear Life where we focus on planning, organizing, and living a more simplified life. Today, I wanted to quickly come on and share with you my August plan with me. Today, I'm just going to be setting up my dashboard with you uh, because I'm making a couple of changes to my dashboard. And as I was starting on the process, I thought, you know, I should be recording this because I know that people are going to ask. So. Uh, I did get started with setting up the month of August and I'll show you what I've done and then I'll show you the changes that I'm doing. It particularly has to do with the way I'm tracking my goals. All right. So if you uh, like this kind of content, if you've enjoyed anything or learned anything new, please give me a thumbs up. Think about subscribing if you haven't already. And with that out of the way, let's get into the video. Well, as you can see here, uh, August is going to be a buzzing month for me. Uh, I want to remember to be kind and to be happy and to be sweet and to be contented with what I have. So my theme for this year is bees. As you can see here on my screen, I think they are absolutely adorable. Uh, love this little guy. And look at these words. Look at these days of the week. Friday with the bee flying through. They're just so cute. So cute. So I'm very excited about taking my time and really getting this month set up the way that I want it set up. But I wanted to share with you guys my dashboard today. Okay. Um, so let's get right into that. Uh, if you are curious about all the important pages that I use in my monthly setups, you can go and check out the previous months. I have lots of videos that I've recorded. I'll list those up above. Uh, July was a very thorough month. So you might want to check that one out. Um, but today I'm just going to focus on the dashboard. So you see here on my screen, I have, uh, the B theme and I have the hex codes for a couple of the colors that I want to coordinate with this theme. I'm also going to use a bright blue to represent the sky. So I think it's going to be very pretty, but first things first, let's go ahead and copy this hex code number. And so that is now in memory and you see all of my pages over here are just a jumble. I've just been copying stuff and dumping it or creating stuff and dumping it into the August, um, folder or section so that I can get it organized. This is the page that we're going to be working on today, our August dashboard. Okay. Now I already copied my calendar, uh, from my long-term calendar, my long-term calendar here. So let me quickly show you my long-term calendar here. You see, I highlighted all of August, did a copy, right click and copy. And then I went back to my August section and I pasted it here on the page. Okay. In that long-term planning, you saw there were only three columns. Those included the day uh, number the day of the week and then a space for any events that are happening. Okay. I also wanted to add a focus box in for each day. And I also want to try monthly meal planning and I'll explain why I want to try monthly meal planning in just a second. It has to do with my goals review. So we'll get to that in just a minute, but for now I need this in place so that I can start using it. Okay. Um, if you look here, I have kind of this orange color, which is way too bright for what I'm doing with the bees. So let's go ahead and get the color shading of this set up. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight uh, something that I want to be table shaded, come down here to table, go to more colors, and I'm going to put in that hex code. So V there, uh, control V to paste and say, okay. And then it will come up with that particular color. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and do the rest of these really quickly. This is shading my weekends so that they stand out for me. And it looks like August has a lot of weekends. One, two, three, four, four weekends. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's see. 
All right, so uh, what I am going to do here is I want to not only have this space here for events, so I'm going to put the word events up here, and you can see I have the National Book Festival is listed there. I have a baseball game that I'm going to. It's reading night. I have a Dave Cos concert coming up and uh, game night with some friends. Okay, so those are a few of the activities that I have or events that I have that are scheduled already. What I want to do here is I want to create a focus for every uh, single day or week that I'm doing. Um, we're going to have guests come in the month of September and there are things that I want to do to get the house ready uh, for those guests to come. So I really want to have this focus for the day, whether it's cleaning out, whether it's decluttering, whether it's touching up paint or, you know, putting new decorations somewhere. I want to have a focus for what I'm doing that day. So I hope that this box will help keep me focused in that way. Okay. All right, the other thing that I have here is I want a place for meals. I want to try monthly meal planning, okay? And the reason that I want to do that is again, I'm still getting some um, decision fatigue from trying to decide every week, you know, what are we gonna have for dinner this week? What are we gonna have for dinner this week? And in addition to that, um, this is the time of year that I like to kind of go through the pantry and the freezer and make sure that I'm using up anything that is either about to expire or has been in the freezer long enough. And I kind of weed that stuff through. And then usually in September and October, I will start restocking that freezer for the winter months. So this is the time of year when you're getting lots of produce and things. Uh, in from the garden and from the food stands and I want to have a place to be able to store all of that stuff okay so it's kind of a clean out and this monthly plan will really help me I think address the issues or the items that are in there and then I can move them to my weekly page as that comes along okay so I think that's going to work out great Okay. Now you see that I used to keep my goals right here, but I have moved them at the moment to down here. Uh, and I just grabbed that July box and move them, uh, because I want to show you a little bit about how I've been doing my goals. All right. So this is actually my goals and actions page for the particular month, but you'll notice that my entire goal section is empty here. Why is that? Well, uh, if we look back here in the goals section, you can see that I copied it and brought it right here. And so it's laying at the bottom of this page and I am working from my quarter three goals. Let me zoom in and show you that as well. So we have my quarter three goals here and quarter three for me uh, encompasses July, August and September. So what I did is I took a look at uh, how I did in July. Now, in order to do that, I need to look at my July goals. Here in July, I am going to look at my goals that I had and my reflections. So you see here for the month of July, I had goals in all of the areas that I normally have them in. Uh, I break my spouse out in a, to a different category than the rest of my family and my friends. I have finances, personal growth, home or physical environment, uh, recreation, creativity, and the garden, okay? And you see lots and lots of notes. This is not a pretty beautiful page to show the world. It is my working page for my goals. So you can see here that I would go in each week and record uh, if I had done those particular activities and what date that might be and any notes that I might have. Here they are in that pinky watermelon color, okay? So I would do that every week during my weekly review on Fridays and Sundays. Then what I did uh, once the month was coming to a close, I hopped over here and I did my reflection. So in my reflection, I talk about what worked for me, people that I'm grateful for, who helped me and why and how that was very helpful. And then I come down here and I look at what didn't work not to beat myself up, just to think about it and think about ways to improve, and then lessons learned. Well, when I looked at this, what didn't work, um, you know, one of the things that I thought about was that meal planning and, uh, you know, needing to have a better meal planning system. So uh, when I looked back at my goals, I thought, you know, instead of just doing weekly, weekly meal planning, I want to do 
uh, monthly meal planning. Okay. And once we found out we were having company for the month of September, uh, things like this creativity project kind of got put on the back burner. And so you see that I took this uh, project for my nephew's quilt, who will be graduating next June, um, which I had already started, ordered some material and that kind of thing. I went ahead and added a tag to this. It's still a craft item and I'm gonna leave it a craft item, but I've also added this other flag that says deferred. That means that when I do my tag summary, it will come up as something that I have started but not finished because it got put on hold for some reason. And I will know that I can pick that back up uh, November maybe, uh, maybe even wait until January. Uh, so I've gotten a good start on it. I don't want it to be slipping off of my radar, um, but um, I, I do want to make sure that I keep track of it. So having this deferred tag is very helpful. It keeps me from losing items uh, in the shuffle of things getting put on hold. I'm sure you guys all have uh, things that happen like that as well. Okay, I am losing daylight, so uh, let's keep going. When I look at all of the green writing that I did on here, um, that really is, you know, me thinking about what I need to do in moving forward, um, you know, and what I want to do as goals for the next month, okay? This right here, uh, under the garden, the green that's written under the garden is one of the things that I was talking about. Keep up on harvesting uh, and uh, weeding. You know, that's talking about all the food that I've been harvesting from the greenhouse, the tomatoes. I have bowls and bowls of, of the little tiny tomatoes, which I want to put in the freezer to use for chili and soups in the fall, okay? So I got to make room in the freezer to do that. In order to do that, I'll do my monthly meal plan. You can see how all this is tying together. Okay. All right. So that's what July's goals look like for me. Very busy month. Got a lot of things done um, and want to keep going. So if I jump back to my goals over here, I could record my progress. So I put down all the dates of things that I did. And then I was also highlighting here in green things that I want to accomplish. So for example, for Crystal Clear Life, I did not do a live during the month of July. It just did not work into the schedule. So I have that highlighted here in green. I want to make sure that I schedule a live event for the month of August, okay? I've also been laxing on posting on Facebook and Instagram, and I want to make sure that I have at least two posts per uh, week for those things. So we'll see how that does in August, okay? I also uh, want to try to get down to visit my sister in August. Um, I want to increase my daily steps, keep up on top of that, and try the monthly meal plan, okay? And then as I slide over and look at the garden, there's that greenhouse and pool maintenance. Um, implementing uh, this plan, the plan that I'm talking about here is getting the house guest ready, okay? And I created a plan for this years ago. Uh, if I go up here to my uh, search menu, I can type the word guest and I have a page. You see, I created it in 2021. That's called getting ready for guests. And it is, you know, a step-by-step -step program to go through and get your house ready when guests are coming. So this part right here in the blue is uh, what I have started making the plan of the things that need to get done before we have company. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I am going to copy a link to this page and I am going to take it back uh, to my goals page. And when I say implement the plan, I am going to insert this link here by going up to insert and link, typing in, let's see, paste that in there and say, okay. All right, now when I need to check on what is the plan, it will take me back to this page and I can start checking things off, okay? You see, I've already started highlighting some things. That means they're done already. That's good, getting a head start on things is always a good thing, okay? So, uh, the things that I have here in green, I want to make sure that I am working on, okay? Now what I need to do is I need to move these things down into the uh, areas that they go on this page. So let me do that quickly off camera and then I will uh, come back and show you that. 
Okay, now that I have uh, added those things that I want to add, I am going to take this page and I'm gonna cut this little section out from here. I still have my uh, Q3 goals here, so that's great, but I'm going to take that page that I just cut away and I'll take it back to August and I'll drop it right here in my goals and actions and reflections. So Control V and there that is, and now I am ready to go. So I know when I go to do my weekly review, what I do is I go through the week and I say, okay, how did I do with walking? Did I do it? Did I not do it? Check it off, make notes, look at this and say, okay, what's the next step that I need to do? All right. Um, and then I take that information and put it back uh, in my next weekly um, area. So like for example here this uh, guest prep project, again I added the link there so it takes me back and I know that if I've done something when I'm going through my weekly review, let's say uh, you know I donated the desk that was in the dining room, I took it and you know dropped it off at Goodwill. I would come in here and highlight that and say that it's done and say what else needs to be done. Okay. My dining room currently has a lot of fabric in it that was given to me by a dear friend and I need to get that assimilated into my stash. That is like my big project. It will probably take me a week to do that, you know, a little piecemeal at a time. Okay. Uh, so I want, to, I want to get that done. So that would be the next thing that I would take and put on my next weekly item. Then I would put my sewing materials away. Then I would move the school boxes that I have in there and so on and so on, you know, until I get everything done. Okay. And, you know, having a plan like this just really helps me move things from one place to the other. Okay. All right. So that's my goal set up for uh, the month of August and I don't have a cute graphic or anything like that uh, right now ready. So I am just going to type in the word August so that I do not get confused about what page that is. Okay. And I can also put that up here as the title. All right. Now back to that dashboard page. Okay, so if you take a look at my goals down here, uh, they're no longer goals for July. We have moved on into August. So my home maintenance goals, the secretary is upstairs, that is done. It looks uh, beautiful and I love that. Uh, I still have not painted those stair rails though, but it is on my list to do and it will get done this month, okay? Um, let's see, then I have the uh, guest project, the guest project. So for guest project, I'm going to make that a link too, because no matter where I am and whenever I see that word, I want to be able to link directly to that page to find out what the next item is. Okay. So that's my home maintenance things uh, that I need to do. Um, the other one is uh, add iron out to the water softener. And I know that is something that comes up. I have it listed actually in my Google calendar in my home maintenance. Uh, and it came up the other day and I know that that needs to be done now in the month of August. Okay. All right. So creative projects have changed. I was uh, thinking about Nick's quilt. Now I have a new service project that I'm working on for church. We are making some uh, port pillows and some fidget quilts. And so that is kind of if I have time or if I have some creative process time, I want to be able to work on some of those um, quilts. Okay. And let's see, don't need this one down here anymore. Um, health and wellness. That will be the monthly meal plan. Okay. All right. Now, again, I don't have these in cute boxes or anything like that. I'm just trying to organize my thoughts and then I will make it pretty later. I know some people like to do all of the decorating first. I sometimes think it's easier to go ahead, get down what I have uh, out of my head and into the paper and then make it pretty. Okay. All right. These are the wrong colors. These are my watermelon colors. So let's go ahead and get some of that uh, taken care of. Let's choose that font color. Let's go down to more colors. Uh, I need to grab that color from uh, my, let's see, from the B page. 
I want this color for some text. No, I want the brown color for some text. So let's copy that one and let's go back to our dashboard and we'll go back to the home menu. We'll change our font color. I could use one of these browns and it might be close enough, but since I already have the hex colors, I want to go ahead and use those if I can and say, okay, that's that new brown that's going to look nice with the honey color. And all of these uh, we will do in, let's see, let's do this yellow color for the bees. So we'll copy that one. We'll go back to the dashboard. More colors, custom, put it down here at the bottom and say, okay. And there is our new color. Okay. Now, as I'm working on this page, if I want to choose different font colors, my two most recent colors are right here. And these are the colors that I have for, you know, the honey that I'm working with. Um, uh, for this month with the honeybees. Okay. All right. Now, the other thing that I always do is I do my gardening, uh, stuff on this page. So let me go to my master gardener page and let's get the stuff for August. So I'm just going to copy this whole thing and I will take it back to August and I will paste it over here in the corner and Let's make sure that is spaced correctly. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. See how wide I can make that. That looks good. I'm going to leave some space up here for some of those bees. And then what I do is I go through and I think, okay, what are the things that I need to specifically uh, do for this garden for this particular year? This list that I have here is a general list of things that gardeners in my area should do during the month of August. Okay. And I need to think to myself, what are the things that I want to do? Okay. I know that I do not need to add compost to my gardens right now, but I do want to make sure that I water them. So I'm going to add that as a garden task, put my little task, um, um, customized task on there for a garden task. Um, I am not going to spray for ticks this time of year. I do need to make sure that I change the hummingbird food daily because right now all the babies are out as well. And, uh, you know, there's lots of hummingbirds outside all of a sudden. So I'm excited about that. I also want to plant some fall vegetables. I do have some more, um, uh, lettuces that I want to start and I have some potatoes that I want to put into a potato bag. Okay. And I will also do some deadheading to see if I can get any second blooms on some of my, uh, roses and, um, spirea and that kind of thing. Okay. All right, so let's change this highlight to uh, a softer green. I think we'll be okay. And then my garden zones down here are going to stay the same because that has been working for me. And my daily garden tasks are also going to stay the same. If I can get them to go back up on that page. There we go. Okay. Uh, so those are working for me and I like, uh, the way that's working out. I do my gardening in zones. Uh, and so this is what I work on each day of the week. I do it for a short amount of time. Not everything gets done, but these are the tasks that I'm kind of looking at to do while I'm out there. Okay. I do need to change this text box color because it does not uh, work for me. Pen properties. Let's go with this nice dark brown that will go with the honey colors that we're doing. And let's see, I want to keep an area for my recipe to try. There we go. Uh, so let's add now some cute decorations and see what we can come up with. All right. I like to create a little, um, vignette for myself to work with, to make my titles. So I will do that. And let's see.
I think this bee can come down and be part of that little vignette. He's a big bee. We'll put him kind of here on the side. He's very cute. And we will put a flower on the other side. All right, like he's going for that flower. Okay, we can bring August to the front by going to order and bring to front and then it sticks out on the top. Okay, let's see how that looks. If I hold down my Alt key, I can get very small movements. And again, I'm gonna bring the B to the front. Okay, I think that looks good. So we are going to grab that and we are gonna make a copy of that and I'll paste over here, but I will paste as a picture so it all stays together. So we'll cut that and we'll take it back to our dashboard and see if we can't fit that up here at the top. So paste on the side so things don't move around and then I can drop August into place right up there. Okay. All right. Now let's grab a couple more of these. Um, I want this box, I know. This box right here, so I'm going to copy that and we'll take that to the dashboard. Paste on the side, and that's going to go in place right there. Make it smaller, and send it to the back so that my recipes to try will come forward, okay? Make it a little bit smaller. There we go. and. Let's put that honey jar on there because that's kind of cute. Paste on the side. I love honey in my tea. Uh, I love orange blossom honey. I love whipped cinnamon honey. I love lemon honey. Uh, I love honey. <laughs> All right, my list of important pages uh, needs to go somewhere also. I'm going to move it up here. And I think I had another box. Let's put that other box around there. Let's do this one. And we'll take that back. Paste on the side. There it is. And we'll put that in place and make it the right size kind of make it the same size as the one below it, like so. Send that to the back by ordering, and then our list can come on top. Again, holding down that Alt key to get it in place, like so, okay? All right, now for August flowers, let's see what we've got over there. These, um, if I did not say, <laughs> these are from Doodlebug Draws. Uh, she, at the moment, is one of my favorite uh, um, doodlers or sticker makers. Uh, I did not uh, receive these for free. I purchased these from her Etsy shop, and there will be a link in the uh, description box below. If you are interested, be happy in the garden. I think that's really cute. Uh, let's add something to that garden zones down there. Maybe I just want to uh, sprinkle some flowers. I can take all four flowers and copy those, paste on the side, and we will just sprinkle those around.
Okay, I'm going to put little boxes next to, or little honeycombs next to uh, some of my goals. So I'm going to grab these two things and I'll copy those. Paste on the side. And if we put that behind, over here, on top of the graphic, We should be able to send it to the back. Very, very, very cute. So I think this section is going to work out pretty good for me. I like having a space for the events. I think I'm going to like having a focus for each particular day and having that meal plan ahead of time is going to be nice for me, I think. This zone over here is zone one, two, three. Those are my cleaning zones in the house. And what I'm going to try to do is as I approach these cleaning zones, which is my normal regular cleaning routine, I am going to focus on the part of the project uh, for getting ready for guests that has to do with that particular cleaning zone. For example, cleaning one, cleaning zone one is the entryway. All right. So if I go down here and look at my guest project list, you see that I have an entryway right here. I have a couple of things that I need to do in that entryway. Um, we call the entry table our fake desk because we don't really use it as a desk. It is a desk, but we don't use it as a desk. We use it to put our purse on when we come in the house. <laughs> Uh, you know, or a place to hold our keys. So I need to tidy that up, uh, tend the plants, that kind of thing. So during week one, I am really going to focus on this area and take care of anything else that needs to be done. Then as I go to uh, cleaning zone two, I will go back and look at uh, cleaning zone two, which is uh, the kitchen area. And I will take a look at anything that needs to be done in the kitchen. Okay, so so on and so on. That's how that's going to work. So my cleaning zones are important. And in this particular case, they're going to help me uh, with projects, uh, getting ready for guests. Also, when it comes to the holidays, I usually use those same zones to get things cleaned up for, uh, and then decorated for, and then undecorated for any particular holiday. So I'll reset the bathroom for the season or the holiday when that zone comes around. Okay. So those zones are kind of really important to me. I like them a lot. And the zones are actually from, um, the fly lady. So if you're interested in that, you can check her out. Uh, Diane in Denmark also talks about fly lady things and, uh, she has some interesting, uh, things to say about the zones as well. So you might want to check her out. I'll leave their links in the description if you are interested. Anyway, I wanted to come on today and share with you the changes that I'm doing ever so slight, uh, but still always tweaking my system, trying to be the most efficient, the most simplified, the most clear that I can be. Okay. And that I can be buzz. That's my buzzword for the, for the month of August. Anyway, I'm sorry. It's getting late and my jokes are getting worse. So uh, I think I am going to let you guys go. Uh, I just hope that uh, this works out for me. I hope that you like the uh, stickers that I picked out for this month. I hope that you got some inspiration uh, for what we are doing this month. And maybe you want to try some of these things in your own planner. Please let me know what you think in the comments below and stay cool this August, everyone. Uh, and we'll see you in the next one. Until next time, here's hoping that you can live a more simplified and organized life through better planning. I use OneNote. Okay, bye.